Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Wuraola. Thank you for joining in and watching this video. Today's vlog is very dear to my heart and really special to me because over the weekend my best friend did an introduction and I had the honor of doing a makeup. Today's video was made in our honor and dedicated to her. I wish her all the very best as she starts a new phase of life and I just trust God that all things will work out well for her. I love you Oluwa Fumibi and I wish you the best. I like to start with a moisturizer. I'm using my Embryolis moisturizer all over her face. I particularly enjoy this process because it gives your face a subtle finish. After all other products have been applied on the face, it doesn't make your face cake out or look like your, everything was cemented on you. Next, I'm going in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. Because I already applied the moisturizer, which can also serve as a primer, I basically just applied the, prim the primer on the nose, the forehead, in this case the brows, because I realized that the brows tend to break out oil, especially when you're in the sun, and then the jawline. Next, I'm going in with the NYX Illuminator and I'm applying that over the apple of her cheeks. Now, I am going in with my Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. I cannot overemphasize how beautiful this foundation works. Just look at how it is laying all over her face. And it is just applying effortlessly. This foundation is a full coverage foundation and you can see from how it covers the blemish, the spots on her face effortlessly. I would definitely rec recommend this foundation over and over again because it's affordable and it's it's really great if you are looking for something that is not so expensive all you need to do is be sure that you're buying from a good store and you're getting your shade you can always ask for help from the attendant at the store to help you get the shade that matches your skin I'm using the shade that matches our own skin And then with your foundation, you want to take your time and make sure you apply it all over the face into every corner, not leaving anywhere out. Next, I am going with, in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toffee. Toffee is two shades lighter than her, than her skin. And I am basically using that to highlight her face. So for a light skin person or even a darker skin person, all you need to do for highlighting is get a concealer that is a shade or for best results, two shades lighter than your skin. And I always highlight all the parts that the sun would naturally eat on the face. That's the those are the parts I, I like. Now I'm going in with my damp beauty blender and I am basically blending off my eye I like. I'm done blending and I'm using the translucent powder, that's the white powder on my powder palette. And I'm using it to preset the face. This is just to allow the cream, I allow the cream concealer to settle down before I set the face. Now I'm setting with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I'm basically setting every part that I highlighted. 
Moving on to the eyebrows, I'm using my mascara wand to set her eyebrows in place and I'm going in with my Mabrook eyebrow pencil and I'm lining the top and bottom of the brows. I'm, basic, I'm basically sketching out thin lines across the brow. Next I'm filling in the brows and filling in the spaces in between the brow. As you can see I'm shading very gently and lightly so that she doesn't have thick looking brows. Afterwards, I blend with my mascara wand again to soften the effect of the pencil. Next, I'm going in with the same concealer I used to highlight the face. That's my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toffee and I am highlighting underneath the brows. As you can see, I'm making thin strokes to trace the bottom of the brows and I'm basically dragging down the remnants of the concealer to prep the eye for eyeshadow. Next I'm setting the eyebrows with the brow tamer by the TM Essentials just to basically put the brow in place. Going into the eye, I'm starting with an orange transition color from my Juvia's Place palette. I'm basically applying the transition color all over the crease. Next, I'm going in with a dark brown color from my Zaron palette and I'm using that to contour the outer corner of the eye then I'm going in with my benign eyeshadow primer to prime all over the lid Next, I'm applying a gold eyeshadow color from my Juvia Space palette on the outer part of the lid. So for this look, I'm basically mixing two colors. I'm two colors. I'm using a white eyeshadow and a gold eyeshadow. So you get to see how I blended both shadows together. And now I'm adding the white eyeshadow in the inner part of the eye so once I'm done applying I go in with the same brush that I used to apply the shadow and then I try to blend off the edges as you can see I'm trying to blend the edges over there and then the line that demarcated the black the gold and white shadow I'm using my brush to you know blend that line off so that there's no appearance of any demarcation or ash line as you can see I'm basically just blending in blending off the, ed the edges the ash line on the edges next I'm going back in with the dark brown eyeshadow I used in the outer corner and I'm applying some more to make it to give it more definition and then finally I'm using my the same transition color I used earlier to generally blend off the crease and the lid now I'm going in with my glitter glue my elf glitter glue because I'm going to be applying some pigment on the eye And with a tiny mouth brush, I gently apply glitters, pigments, sorry, all over the eye. So 
So because of the rush, I had to do the liner and lashes behind the camera. And now I'm basically dusting off my setting powder. So I'm using the same tra the same translucent powder. That's the white part of my palette to dust off the setting powder. This is to make the dusting off come easily, come off easily. And then I go ahead and powder our face generally. So the part where my big powder brush couldn't enter, I go in with a small fluffy brush and dust off the setting powders in those corners. So now I'm applying eyeliner into a waterline. Unfortunately, after this process, my phone stopped recording and I wasn't able to film the remaining part of the look. But then here's the finished look. I hope you love it. I hope you learned one or two things at least. Please remember to give me a thumbs up, subscribe.